Meme coins have been outperforming the entire crypto market over the past year, and it doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon, especially after us recently seeing a spot Ethereum ETF approved. This is probably bring in billions of dollars into the crypto space, especially into meme coins and into altcoins. And right now, if we're looking at meme coins, they're sitting around a $56 billion market cap. We're seeing that many projects have done pretty well over the last seven days or so, with Dog with Hat up around 21%, Pepe up around 10%, you know, some projects up nearly 100%. And recently, we did talk about a project called Pepe. This project, uh, Pepe, was around a $75 million market cap when we talked about it. And currently, it's about double that, around $140 million market cap. But now at over $100 million market cap, I think a lot of the gains, like these major, major gains, might uh, slow down for a bit. So I did recently invest in another project that is called Dork Lord. Symbol is Dorky, D-O-R-K-Y and it is up around 141% in the last month. It's on already coin market cap. It's already on coin gecko. And this project has a lot of the similar characteristics that I saw with PayPay and with Pepe and with Dog with Hat and many of the other top performing meme coins. And this project, like I said, is up 141% in the last month. And it's not even on any major exchanges. It's only available on Uniswap. And this project really comes as like the final boss uh, of the Pepeverse character and in the comic book uh, Boys Club by Matt Fury. So this, if you're looking at it, they talk all about this over on their website. It says, Doric Lord is here to take over the Ethereum chain. Pepe has long been causing problems over there. And it says, look, total supply is 69,420,000 total supply. Uh, fully circulating supply is the same. Zero buy tax, zero sales tax, no hidden fees. Contract has been renounced and LP uh, burnt and locked forever. So you can see that this project is trying to piggyback off of The Boys Club by Matt Fury. It's really like the last missing piece in the puzzle um, that the market has been waiting for. And if you're looking at this project, the cool thing about it is that really there's 100% of its supply in circulation, which really you don't see from many projects. So as this project continues to grow and grow, it is really sh proven and it shows everyone that it's a community driven project because there's no fees, no taxes, the contract has been renounced and really everything is circulating in the supply. And you can see that right now this project is only at around a 2.7 to 2.9 million dollar market cap. It has a pretty decent liquidity and this is something that is very exciting in my opinion because when it first launched, like when we first talked about it over in our, our like Patreon group and over on uh, other platforms, we got in it around that 15 to 23 cents per token range when it was trading here. Now it's sort of broken through that key resistance and the thing is that I really like about it is that when you typically look at meme coins, new meme coins for that matter. This one launched in like early June. But if you typically look at new meme coins, the most important thing about a new meme coin is breaking through that initial rally. Like if you are able to sustain that initial rally, so you can see it, you know, came back and went all the way up to around 45 cents per token right here. And then it had that massive correction. But if you are able to reclaim and break through that initial rally, that initial high, well, that is usually a really good sign for the future of a project. And that is exactly what has happened with, um, with Dorky. You could see that this project was able to break through this massive trading zone that it had been in between around 0 0.007 and 0 0.02 cents per token. And now it's right around 0 0.04. So this is something that is very exciting in my opinion. And only a $2.8 million market cap. There is a ton of upside for this project. I think it easily could be, you know, 100x play, especially with where we're at right now in the overall market, especially with us recently seeing a ton of attention in the market with spot Ethereum ETF approvals. I think this is a product you definitely should be keeping an eye out on. Other thing with Dorky is that if you go ahead and look on their social media, it has been able to have a lot of engagement given its followers. So if you're looking at the follower to engagement ratio, you can see that this project is consistently getting quite a bit of engagement, you know, around 50 likes per post, 15 retweets, uh, you know, the same thing, over a thousand reach for every single 
single post just about. And this is something that's very exciting given that they only have 839 followers. So again, seeing this much engagement relative to their overall followers makes me even more bullish on it. Last thing I do want to go over with this project is going to be, if you're looking at their art. They have their very own artists really working on all the art that they're always posting. If you go and click on media, you can see that they have a wide range of media and art that's constantly posted to engage with the community. They have this dedicated team who's uh, always trying to onboard new creators, always try to have new partnerships every single day and build up the hype before they have a centralized exchange listing. And you can see this just with their uh, all of their art. And you can see that they have like dozens and dozens of different art and different photos that they have, you know, curated for the community. So if you're looking at it, this is very, very exciting in my opinion, because ultimately, if you are trying to be profitable in the meme coin space, it's really catching the trend before other people do. And this cycle, we've seen everything with the Pepe verse has been the hottest narrative. We saw um, like Pepe, we saw um, many other projects in this, like Andy and other projects and like Brett, all these are in that Pepe verse category. So with Dark Lord being in that Pepe verse um, like narrative, I think it has a lot of potential. And also due to the fact that it did break through that initial rally high and was able to maintain a pretty strong support. That's something that you really like to see, because if your projects are able to do that, if projects are able to start building up volume, which is exactly what you're seeing happen with Dork Lord, well, it's really recipe for a massive 50 hundred x returning project so i do own some of this project a few thousand dollars of it and i definitely think it could be you know that 50 to 100x play in this market cycle